I've been an Ableton producer for the past three years, but recently I found out that almost all of my favorite songs were produced in FL Studio. So today I decided to buy FL Studio and see if I can use it to make better beats. Alrighty, let's do it. FL Studio. All right, let's see what just these stock sounds are hitting for. Yo, this sounds like 2000s type stuff, like Soldier Boy type vibes. She got down, she got down. Maybe I'm gonna like FL. I got some of my kits loaded up in here. If you haven't already, make sure to download those below, completely free. I think I'm just gonna start with some chords. Let me set my tempo. I literally cannot figure out how to quantize the fucking... All right, there we go. Just the pencil tool, I'm a dummy. Thinking like something like... Doom. I'm looking for something just like kind of, maybe some bells or like a key sound. Damn, if I could change the ADSR on here, that would be sick. We're just gonna go with that for now, just cause it adds a little bit of ambience to it. And so one thing I do know about FL is that it goes by like these patterns. I guess like I could use this as an intro and how do I copy it over? Oh shit. Why is it like snapping? When you use a different program, you realize what all things you take for granted. Oh, I can just click? What the fuck? Yo, oh. All right, we got that bass going, baby. Let's go. Oh, okay. So I just hold command. Damn, but how do you delete it though? Um, like you would think that if you have no highlighted, you could just hit delete. I guess the dummies that made FL didn't think that was smart. People always talk about this clipper. People always use that, so I've got to put that on the master. Just to make it slap. Shit, may as well just also throw in some sound good as there. Throw in another clipper. I don't know, I don't really know. So this next part I'm kind of scared about because now I have to do drums. I'm trying to do like a fake out section and I don't really know how I'm gonna do it. Let's see if I can figure it out. Good old glaive kick never hurt anybody. See, it's got this EQ down here as well. It's kind of convenient. I do like that. Just take out some lows. We could like distort the bass more. Oh. Also, I'm noticing, I guess these are the, it's like a dry, wet mix knob. I love that they have that on each plugin. Definitely advantage FL Studio on that one. Oh shit. I don't really know what I'm looking for. I'm kind of just experimenting, seeing if something sounds good. That sounds a lot better to me. Let's go back to the drums. Could be like, doom. I'm also thinking like a crash. How does it like cut off? Oh, maybe this is like the one shot Ableton thing. So let's go. Woo. Damn, we need some like little like twinkly kind of stuff going on. I always see these little FL dudes like penciling in stuff. I never do that shit, but I'm about to try right now. I wanna do like a fill or something right here though. I'm gonna be lazy, not make the fill myself. Okay, so now we're, get, we're getting somewhere. Yo, for getting like different tones, I feel like this thing is crazy. I'm gonna try to use that. Yeah, I think that's hard. I feel like I'm gonna get roasted for this, but I don't give a fuck. I think that shit's cool. Now I need to figure out how to automate. Okay, you right click. That, they just can't make anything like just super intuitive or easy. All right, that's pretty cool. I keep throwing stuff on the master that just like somehow sounds cool. So right, maybe some hats will be cool. All right, so I've got some of this down. Now I want to change it for the second half. Oh, now I have to go through and do all of that. I feel like I have to make unique, change it again. I'm just like, damn, come on now. Thinking about like a lead or something, maybe. I'm seeing hope on the horizon. I think I might be able to get this beat done. I wanted to use gross beat because that's like a, just, you have to use gross beat, I feel like if you're in FL Studio. Yo, what the fuck? Yo, this shit is crazy. I'm about to throw an impact on this just to kind of transition from the hook to the next verse part. And then I think that's gonna be a wrap. I still not might switch to FL Studio, but I think that given how this beat turned out, it might be something that I at least try sometimes. Cause I feel like this gave me a sound that I normally would have not ever gotten in Ableton. Anyways, hope you enjoy the beat. This is what I made in FL Studio today.
W. 